Okay, now that I've committed to this whole video thing, um, I'll talk about some things you can do on the second stage. Um, so the first thing, you might not have noticed just then, but as you come into the second stage, there's a little change in the ceiling right there. So it's not really a big deal, but what it does allow you to do, it, there's a tiny piece of wall up there, so you can actually throw off of it. And it's, yeah, that, that's kind of interesting. So it's not a huge deal, but it's one thing you can do. Let's see, next. Um, okay, so you probably know when you're on, stuck on a wall, if you attack, you do a special attack kind of off of the wall. Well, if you slide down around the wall and kick right before the edge, you, you do a more different animation that kind of wraps you around the wall. So that's actually extremely useful in a lot of cases. You can do it right there and in some other places on the map. Interestingly enough though, it only works when you're on the right side of blocks. If you do it from here, it, you actually can't get the same animation uh, that like wraps around the corner. And so some other places you can do it are... Oh, I didn't plan this very well. <laughs> but right here. And of course you can do it on the opposite side of the stage as well. Okay, go back to the second room. Um, one cool thing, this is one of the few places in the game where you can kind of abuse animations as you might in like other games. But if you notice, if you jump and kick, it takes a while for you to fall. Or, and if you just kick, it, I mean, it's faster, but jumping and kicking, you can get different angles. If you jump and kick with the ceiling above your head, uh, it stops your jump, and you can do it in quick succession much faster than if you were to do it without a ceiling, like that. So, that's useful. And... One thing, if you are doing this, it it's kind of difficult to do, but you want to angle your kick down um, when you're in the air. Because if you're in the air and kicking straight, um, if they have a sword, they'll end up just like killing you most of the time. Um, it's You're much more likely to hit their sword and disarm them if you angle it downwards, because since you're in the air, angling down is actually where their sword is, as you can see there. So those are like the unique tricks, I suppose you could call them, on the second stage. One other thing, this isn't really a trick, but it's a mechanic of the game where you can catch swords. So you might have noticed when you throw swords, um, it's, it's very useful, but you can catch them if your body is in the right place um, when you when it like intersects with the sword's path. So if you just go up to a wall like this, um, you can practice just the positioning for where your body needs to be to catch the sword like this and being able to catch swords is really useful because if someone's throwing and they no longer have a sword and you can catch it, it's a very large advantage. But it is hard to do and doesn't always work consistently. And if we're doing this, we could also point out that you can, um, you can obviously slide to pick up swords, so if you just slide right when it like hits the ground... Okay, <laughs> great example. Whoops. Um, 
you can pick up the sword um, like that as well. Ugh. So that's about it for the second stage. Thanks for watching, and you can look forward to the abundance of the things there are in the third stage with all of the, the pits and cool things that are there. So, bye.